Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. back. That's the Appleton Oak. This is the answer. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, this is going to be the intro we lost and then we found for Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. I uh, had a little snafu with the tech, but we're giving it to you again. You, you, you know, I don't want to p- place any blame, but, but I will. had to. <laughs> but if we had to. I would know where to place I don't know it. who did it. No, look, the reality is, is that after Goblet of Fire, we were so excited to shoot Order of the Phoenix. We're sitting around here like a couple of schoolboys at Hogwarts, just ready to get things rolling. And, uh, you know, something something happened. We really don't know, but the intro got lost. So here we are. Here's the intro for Order of the Phoenix. And, yeah. Uh, we're excited. And since he's not busy yelling at me anymore, let's go! Ah, that music. I feel like I'm going back into the magical world. (laughs) Had to wait so long. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. All right. Let's get to it. Oh, love of the best. It's a pretty... Sad looking Hey, girl. there's our main man. Wow, has he aged a lot yeah. from the last one again? And got a haircut. <laughs> oh, oh. He grew up. He, yeah, you know what? He grew up and he looks like every much as an asshole as he used to. Moaning in your sleep every night. Don't kill Cedric. <gasps> oh, Whoa. hang on no, now. Them are fighting words. <laughs> He's going to kill me, Mom. <laughs> Where is your mom? Don't go there, Come dude. On. Don't go there. What a dick. Is she dead? He's trying to impress his friends, just like any other bully. <laughs> Did he really put his wand to his throat? Oh. Oh, see? Uh-oh. Oh, see? look, this off. is what happens when you yeah. mess with Potter. He's doing some X-Men stuff here. What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. <laughs> There's no way that kid runs as fast as Potter. <laughs> no, I was just no chance. That. No, no way. way. That's what, oh, you can see their breath. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, Whoa. hey, are those the uh the the the, the, the de- de- dementors, dementors. Is that what those it, are? I, they always had hoods before, though. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Oh, in. why is oh, he sliding? Oh, yeah, okay. he tucked the chin. He tucked the chin. Oh. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, Every yeah, that's time. not good. Like, wow. I don't get how the magic order is just letting this happen. Oh, God, they sure got into it without wasting any yeah, time no. with this movie, huh? Too Harry. ma- oh, Harry's got a... Oh. <laughs> got him! Yeah. Boom! Uh, you better help. Well, yeah, you better help him. <laughs> leave him. Help uh, Dudley, yeah, he's like, who, oh, he's gonna uh, help him, Mister oh. Do Right, Dudley Do Right. Okay, do we know who this Mr. is? Don't put is away it? your wand, Harry. They might come back. Well, oh, that was convenient. Was a little whingy. I don't understand. <laughs> Dumbledore. Oh, that kid is messed up, isn't he? Happy? Are we now? Oh, hey. Just, just look at him, Petunia. Our boy has gone yumpy. <laughs> <laughs> yumpy. The Ministry has received what? intelligence that at 6.23 this evening, you performed the Patronus charm in the presence of a muggle. For the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery, you are hereby expelled. Oh, what? what? There's no way. What? For saving the You're going to expel Potter from Hogwarts? Come on. Oh, Cedric. Big, vengeance. Big rap. No. Tonks, for God's sake. Who are these guys? What? Hey, oh, is that uh, Moody. Moody? Moody. Moody with the, with the eye. <laughs> Where are we going? The letter said I've been expelled from Hogwarts. Oh, you haven't been. Not yet. Dumbledore has persuaded the minister to suspend your expulsion pending a formal hearing. Don't worry, Harry. We'll explain everything when we get back to headquarters. Now, we've been explained to us in the comments that muggles don't pay attention when there's yeah. wizard stuff going on. So Yeah, they Thanks basically don't like, I didn't realize. They basically don't see it, because I'm pretty sure six people flying down <laughs> the, the river on brooms. 
going down. Is that, uh, that's London, right? Good old I mean, London. That. That yes. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, they're just whole notice. building is spreading. Now, another thing from the comments is that that we learned is that muggles don't really know like when magic is happening either. So like the tenant, there, there you go. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> the tenants of the buildings don't know like their stuff is moving. Hey! Oh! Hey, there he is. He's What's back. um um Uncle Serious? This uh, her character I really love. I think it's very relatable because I think growing up, like a lot of us had like a friend's mom who was basically like our second mother. I know I had that. Gail Nelson, just an absolute saint, but was basically just like your second mom. You know? Oh, what is that? That looks like. Dobby, yeah, oh, looks what? Like a dobby. Oh, looks like a Dobby. No, oh. Don't say that. Could it be him? Oh, oh no, that's no. that's a house elf, but it's definitely not Dobby. Oh. Give, giving him the side eye. <laughs> a lot of good comments about um, it was controversial that the house elves were even in this movie because it was a, a portrayal of slavery still happening at the time that this movie was going on, which is interesting. So thank you for bringing that up in the comments. We've heard him talking about this mentor attack. He must tell us everything. Better man, on. There he is. He got a haircut too. I've looked up. They simply can't expel you. So what is this place? His headquarters. The Order of the Phoenix. Ah, oh, well, the Phoenix. Yes. Dumbledore formed it back when they first fought you know who. He wanted to, aren't they? Only Dumbledore made us swear not to tell you anything. Why would Dumbledore make the friend? What? Why are they always keeping him in the dark? But why would he want to keep me in the dark? I mean, maybe I can help. <laughs> After all, I'm, I'm the one who saw Voldemort return. I'm the one who fought him. I'm the one who saw Cedric Diggory get killed. Harry. There they are. Those guys look like they're 30. Touching the return black. Snape Potter will come. Stay out of the sewers. Snape's part of the old. I know. Well, don't dangle it. Oh, That's worse for her cats. <laughs> Mine, I hate it. <laughs> Drop a comment below if you have a cat named Crookshanks. Oh, <laughs> you sure you're all right, Harry? Game is quite a turn. There we go. Serious. There's the man. <laughs> Didn't he see Serious though when he comes in? Yeah, but it they looks, made sure they stopped him from. Looked going like, in. like a, oh my god, I haven't seen you except for ten minutes ago. <laughs> Show him. You'll find out soon enough. Last time Voldemort gained power, he almost destroyed everything we hold most dear. Now he's returned, and I'm afraid the minister will do almost anything to avoid facing that terrifying trip. We think Voldemort wants to build up his army again. Isn't the only thing he's interested in. We believe... Oh, he wants Potter. Makes sense. He wants Potter. <laughs> Was it her first time in a subway? <laughs> yup. <laughs> yup. He just <laughs> walks through backwards. You know, one thing I'm not understanding, and please, please drop a comment. They keep talking about, like, Voldemort, like, going after people. But if what happens in the wizard world doesn't impact, like, the real world, you know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah. if, Vo if Voldemort's causing, like, all this crazy havoc in the world of wizards and witches, does that impact, like... The, the regular world yeah. you know like we watch avengers and stuff and like the bad guys are gonna ruin the whole world well you know so many of you have said that the, the wizards and witches and everything is separate from the muggles so how does that how does that tie in an impact or should i just shut up and watch the show yeah. <laughs> dude's not gonna come oh okay, this, this guy God, I hate this guy. It's like, how is Harry not just going after him? He knows he played did, a hand did, does in he, Cedric. Does he know for sure? Did he for sure see his face? That's oh, I don't remember. Disciplinary hearing of the 12th of August into offenses committed by Harry. Witness for the defense. Ha. Albus Percival Wolfric. Brian. <laughs> Brian? <laughs> Albus Percival Wolfric. Brian? Brian, Brian. Dumbledore. <laughs> And in full awareness of the illegality of his actions, produce a Patronus charm in the presence of a muggle. I was only doing it because of the Dementors. Muggles can't see Dementors. What did they look like? One of them was very large, and the other rather skinny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone would believe that Dementors were there by coincidence, Minister. Dementors are, after all, 
under the control of the Ministry of Magic. It's so silly of me, but it sounded that You're the Ministry happy. had ordered the attack. Wow, she's not condescending at all. No. Of course, there is someone who might be behind the attack. The evidence the Dark Lord has returned. He's not. You know, the Dark Lord this? sounds like Star Wars talk. <laughs> what is this guy, the mayor from Jaws? No, there's just no fine. shark out there. Yeah. Yeah, go swimming. We're good. We're go good. swimming. Get your family, your kids out there, bring your dog. Yeah. Yeah, go bury your head in the sand. You'll be fine when Voldemort shows up. In favor of conviction. Oh, this oh, is crusty old ass. The suck ups. Yeah. Her. Those in favor oh, of God. hearing the accused of all charges. Condescending type. Ha! Suck it. Yeah, look at that. Now, do their oh. votes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she raises her hand. Cleared of all charges. Oh, look at that. Nice. Professor. Ooh. Why is he giving them Shoulder the meat cold. Yeah, no kidding. It's just saying. Serious, what are you doing here? If somebody sees you. <laughs> I had to see you off, didn't I? Shrinking in a slum bottom. Neville's parents. They suffered a fate worse than death, you ask me. Day doesn't go by, I don't miss your dad. Hey, who's that? Isn't that Chompers? Oh, or that's, that's, the the guy, that's, that's the creepy. That's the creepy dude. Yeah, the, yeah from. That is a. Uh, he who we do not speak of, right hand man. Yeah, from. Uh, Cut his hand off and then he gave it prisoner to Prisoner of Azkaban, yeah. yeah. Seeing things now, that's not good. There's no way Voldemort yeah, is actually there. there. Back to Hogwarts yeah. we go. So I can be tortured again for another year yeah. if something terrible happened. Surprise the ministry is still letting you walk around free, Potter. You better enjoy it while you can. Oh, this guy. Oh, oh come on. You know what? Malfoy would be wearing a turtleneck. What a douchebag. I tell you, he's carrying his newspaper. Just stay away from me. Hey, there oh. she is. Oh, no, no, go goodbye. Ex oh. Expecto, come back home. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. It's <laughs> what? That. Pulling the carriage. Things pulling the carriage, Harry. It's pulling itself like always. Okay, is Harry so. seeing things, or is he can see it and they can't? You're just as sane as I am. I can see them too. You're just as sane as I am. Everyone, this is Luna. <laughs> Lo Real. Huh? Wait, whoa, wait. Who? Luna Lovegood. <laughs> no, look at that! You got it. <laughs> what are the odds? You perfect, perfect timing. Oh, Luna Lovegood. I mean, it's still not a Potter or a Dumbledore wand, but. Pleased to welcome back Professor Grubbly Plank, who will be taking care of magical creatures while Professor Hagrid is on temporary leave. We're not going to have Hagrid? No. We're also pleased to welcome our new Defense <laughs> Against the Dark Arts teacher, Professor Dolores Umbridge. That's another new Dark Arts professor. She works for Fudge. Thank you, Headmaster, for those kind words of welcome. And how lovely to see all your bright, happy faces smiling up at me. I'm sure... <laughs> <laughs> None of them. Progress for the sake uh, of progress. You must right. so be condescending. discouraged. Wait, wait. Progress for the sake of progress must be discouraged. It means the ministry is interfering in Hogwarts. Plotter. Don't, give, don't look at Harry like that. Your mom didn't want me to come back this year because of you. The Daily Prophet's been saying a lot of things about you, Harry, and about Dumbledore as well. What, and your mom believes them? Well, nobody was there the night Cedric died. Oh, well, I guess you should read the Prophet then, like your stupid oh. mother. It'll tell you everything you oh. need to know. Don't you dare oh. talk oh. to my mother like I'll that. I'll have a go at anyone that calls me a liar. Has anyone else got a problem with Harry? Oh, 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 oh. Boy. He's got his back Weasley's this time. Well, Weasley's up. brother should be stepping up and be like, we don't have a problem either. Yeah. But, well, because you remember before, it was totally different between those two. Shame, it's just bang out of order, mate. It'll come through. We'll see. I said I'm fine, Ron. Whoa. Whoa. Is that the, the, the language again? The snake language? Sir, 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 sir. Oh, from when he 
remember one of the blood. things was blood, yeah. Oh. Whoa. Oh, oh look, God. Buzz Killington. Study hard, and you will be rewarded. Fail to do so, and the consequences may be severe. There's nothing in here about using defensive spells. Using spells? <laughs> well, I can't imagine why you would need to use spells in my classroom. What use is that? If we're going to be attacked, it won't be risk-free. Students yeah. will raise their hands when they speak in my class. Oh, we already know who's So they want to teach them how to theoretically cast the spells, but not yes. let them have any practice using it. Yes. Lie. It's not a lie. I saw him. I thought Detention, him. Mr. Potter. So according to you, Cedric Diggory dropped dead of his own accord. It was murder. Voldemort killed him. You must know that. Enough! Wow. Jeez. Harry is not having any problems going tit for tat with authority here. Yeah. You know what? I think, I think she knows that Potter is better than her, and I think it bothers her. No, not with your quill. I'm going to be using a rather special one of mine. I want you to write, I must not... Tell lies. Oh my oh god, no. it's carving it into his hand. Or maybe he has a smoke. Whatever he wrote on the paper gets carved into his hand. Oh, dude, he wrote the whole thing first and then yeah. it carved in his hand. I'm guessing if it started carving as you write, they dropped the pen. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was writing, yeah, the second line. He already had the first one done. Because you know. Deep down, you deserve to be punished. Don't you, Mr. Potter? This woman is insane. Oh, jab her in the throat with it, Potter. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Turn. Sorry. Sorry. Turn. Sorry. Was that a little bit? Was that a bit much? <laughs> Weasley and Weasley. Obtain hours of pleasure from a profitable boredom. What's wrong with your hand? Nothing. You've got to tell Dumbledore. No. Dumbledore's got enough in his mind right now. Anyway, I don't want to give Umbridge the satisfaction. Hermione, whatever this is, it's not simple. Oh, he's got a point there. Yeah. This is all really messed up. Well, Harry Potter. Fortunately, all my shoes have mysteriously disappeared. What? Expect Nargles are behind What are Nargles? <laughs> the Ministry and the Tuffet are conspiring against you and Dumbledore. That's, that's about it. Look, at she figured it out. If I were, you know who. I'd want you to feel cut off from everyone else. Because if it's just you alone, mm -hmm. you're not as much of a threat. This girl has it figured out. I am really requesting that when it comes to my students, you conform to the prescribed disciplinary practices. That's silly of me, but it sounds as if you're questioning my authority in my own classroom. Minerva, merely your medieval methods. I'm sorry, dear. But the one thing I will not stand for is disloyalty. Oh. Cornelius will want to take immediate Who are you action. you to come in here and start changing things? Oh my god, what the hell? Dolores, high inquisitor. Oh, that is, that can't be good. I don't even know what that is, but it's, yeah, it's not it anything good. Sound. Giving her more power is definitely a bad idea. You applied first for the defense against the Black Is that correct? Why is she questioning all the professors? What the? She's measuring him? One teensy little prophecy? You are in grave danger. Did she have a problem foretelling the future after some of these movies? I don't remember what what her story was. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Yeah, guys, drop a comment if she had an issue with doing the fortunes or telling the future again. What, what's going on? It's Professor Trelawney. Sixteen years I've, I've lived and taught him. Oh, God, this is my home. I can't do this. Actually, I can. What is she going to teach wow. every class? Actually, I can, you know what? You could say, hey, you know, we have to make changes, yada, yada. But instead, she just no. says, actually, I can. With that little smile. Somebody throw a rock at her head. Ooh. Here comes our man. Might I ask you to escort Sybil back inside? Dumbledore, may I remind you that under the terms of Educational Decree Number 23, as enacted by the Minister... You have the right to dismiss my teachers. That you do not, however, have the authority to banish them from the ground. That power remains with the Headmaster. 
for now. Oh, God. Just oh, he is not happy. Oh, he just yelled Professor. at all the kids. Yeah. Professor. Was he ignoring Harry? Yeah. Oh, my God, once again. Wow. She's taking over the entire school. We have convincing evidence uh, that these disappearances are the work of notorious mass murderer Sirius Black. What's that? Sirius is not letting us use magic at all. Well, I'm not surprised. Fudge doesn't want you trained in combat. What does he think? We're forming some sort of wizard army. That's exactly what he thinks. The others wouldn't want me telling you this, Harry. Things aren't going at all well with the order. Someone's coming. I'm sorry, I can't be of more help. It looks like you're on your own. Oh, jeez. Again. <sighs> you know, Harry and our whole crew, they're going to have to take out Voldemort, Fudge, like all these people. Well, you know to, what? To totally get rid of them, you know, and to right all the wrongs, as they say. We've got to be able to defend ourselves. And if Ahmed refuses to teach us how, we need someone who will. Harry, it's time to f*** it up. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's time. The time is now. <laughs> have to beep that out. <laughs> Who'd want to be taught by me? I'm a nutter, remember? Can't be any worse than old Toadface. Potter could tell us more about how Diggory got killed. Uh, we'd rather not talk about it. I'm not going to talk about Cedric, so that's <laughs> why you're here. <laughs> <laughs> All sensitive. It all sounds great when you say it like that. <laughs> the truth is, most of that was just luck. I didn't know what I was doing half the time. I nearly always had help. In school, if you make a mistake, you can just try again tomorrow. But out there, when you're a second away from being murdered or watching a friend die right before your eyes, you don't know what This is like. badass. The, the lessons that we talked about in earlier movies, this is the most gangster thing he said, that what you learn in school and the things that you're taught in books, it's yeah. different when you get out in the real world and you, oh, this is... That's a good one. See... You keep going on about the lessons for kids, but that's just a life lesson right there, period, for anybody. I'm getting fired up over here. <laughs> Sorry. Boy, what was that? What is is Hogwarts yeah. like alive where it like knows what the students need? Well, all the all the posters are, they always uh. talk to them and everything. That was I really this? like this kid. You've done it, Neville. You found the room's requirement. The room's requirement only appears when a person has real need of it and is always equipped for the seeker's needs. It's like Hogwarts wants us to fight back. Oh, uh -huh. it's like Hogwarts okay. wants you to fight back. Nice. Makes perfect sense. Smart. <laughs> oh, <laughs> in somebody's eye. <laughs> You're just flourishing your wand too much. Try it like this. Expelliarmus. <laughs> Wands away. Give it your best shot. Step aside. No. I mean, <laughs> we got him. Not bad. No, oh, he's just hanging out in front of the wall, waiting for it to open. Jesus, not for you, it won't, pal. It's <laughs> <Get> stupefying. <laughs> <laughs> I had to pay up. <laughs> I let her do that. It's good man, isn't it? <laughs> oh, they're sneaking out a different door. <laughs> door. Nice. Well, it gives them what they need. Now it's all students submit to questioning. Questioning. So now they're going to start interrogating the students about suspected Suspect illicit was... activities. And that was rule number oh, 82. Come. And there's something that matters even more. Believing in yourself. Another Potter lesson. Just keep you gotta believe up. in yourself. Every great wizard in history has started out as nothing more than what we are now. Students, if they can do it, why not us? Why not? There we go. Why not us? Why not now? Why not me? He got it. You, go. you get it. Fantastic, Neville. Well done. You're a really good teacher, Harry. I've never been able to stun anything before. No, what is come that? on. Mistletoe? Is that what I think it is? <laughs> <laughs> it is. I'll do it here. Well, it is. It, hey, guys, it's Christmas time. Cedric's right there watching. Nargles. It's going to happen. Is the Nargles. It's going to happen. I have no idea. It's going to. Okay. Hey! <laughs> yeah. That, well, that, wait, first does one? anything happen to the Cedric that's, picture as they kiss? That's what I was wondering. <laughs> I mean, she was sort of crying. 
that ballot eye. I think a bit of snogging would cheer her up. <laughs> snogging! <laughs> Can you understand how she must be feeling? Obviously, she's feeling sad about Cedric, and therefore confused about liking Harry and guilty about kissing him, conflicted because Umbridge is threatening to sack her mom from her job at the ministry, and frightened of failing her OWLs because she's so busy worrying about everything else. One person couldn't feel all that. Explode. It's because you've got the emotional range of a teaspoon. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that was a real laugh right there. I think it was. That was one thousand percent a real laugh. Yes. Yeah, so right when, he, when he first smiled, really yeah. they went. With, you can tell. They kept it. They, they kept, kept it. it. They, they recorded it, yes. that laugh it be a, and they kept yeah. it. They said, "You know what? We'll just go with it." That, that was one thousand percent real. That was that one of those. Awesome. Keep the blooper in. It's amazing. You yeah. could totally tell he was <laughs> laughing. Something he didn't have last time. A Weasley's old man? Yeah. What? What the heck? What's going on here? Oh, Someone's it's getting, getting all out. kinds of messed up. Professor, will you please just tell me what's happening? Everard. Arthur was on guard duty tonight. We saw he's found by the right people. Oh, oh if he's all right. <laughs> okay. Look at me! Oh, Jesus. He's terrified, though. He just wants answers. I gotta remember, he's still a kid. Yeah, you nobody's know? been telling him anything. There we go. Snake to the rescue. You wished to see me, Headmaster? Severus. Nope. Oh, <laughs> it's just dragging him. It appears that there is a connection between the Dark Lord's mind and your own. Whether he is as yet aware of this connection is for the moment unclear. Oh, so they don't even know if Voldemort knows that he's in Hotter's head. Yeah. He'll be able to read my mind. Read it. Control it. Unhinge it. In these lessons, I will attempt to penetrate your mind. You will attempt to resist. Prepare yourself. Like, okay. uh, okay. how? <laughs> Concentrate, Potter. You think you would have gave him a little warm-up lesson or something? Right? The, man, they just got right into it. <laughs> nah. Daddy's back. Oh, oh, he's all right. <laughs> Brown. Sit down, everybody. Sit down. Oh, that's a hell of a turkey. Oh, well, it's true. Harry. 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 Nasty breath standing there as bold as Brown. Yeah, this is definitely not Harry true. Potter. Yeah. The boy who stopped the Dark Lord. Friend of mudbloods and blood traitors alike. It's enough of your vile. <laughs> Away with you. Of course. This connection between me and Voldemort. What if the reason for it is that I am becoming more like him? I just feel so angry. A lot of pressure for a young kid. Uh -huh. A lot of pressure. You're not a bad person. Hagrid's back. I told you. I've been away from me health. As gamekeeper, fresh air must be difficult. Okay, so by. he's beat up too, and he was part of the original Order of the Phoenix right. as well. He's yeah. in the picture. They're coming after all of them. How old is she, that crazy Ugh, lady You know what? She probably mall. smells like the makeup counter at Macy's where you get a headache just yeah. walking by her. It's Kick rocks, old lady. I try to convince them to join the cause. I'm trying to persuade them to join you know who. Oh, there you go. Did they? I gave them Dumbledore's message. They did this to you. Not exactly, no. What's this now? Oh, God. There's a storm coming, Harry. We'd all best be ready when she does. Yesterday, oh, they all got out of Azkaban. Imagine oh, that. I wonder who no. did that. I wonder who planned that. It was engineered by a man with personal experience of escaping from Azkaban. Notorious mass murderer, Sirius Black. Oh, so just blame oh, it yeah. on him. Just throwing it on him. He's like their boogeyman they can just blame everything on. I want to apologize. Now even your mum says the prophet's version of things on that up. I believe you. You know what? Good for this kid for stepping up and saying, hey, you know what? I'm sorry for, you know, Gazap! <laughs> you know, saying he was wrong. That's tough at that age, I'd imagine. 14 years ago, Death Eater named Bellatrix Lestrange used the Cruciatus curse on my parents. She tortured them for information. They never gave in. I'm quite proud to be their son. Hell yeah, dude. Not a boy. I'm not sure I'm ready for everyone to know just yet. We're going to make them proud, Neville. That's a promise. Make it 
a powerful memory. The happiest you can remember. Allow it to fill you up. Keep trying, Seamus. Fantastic, Jenny. This is really advanced stuff, guys. You're doing so well. You got it, Weasley. Ah, oh, it's the hog. dog. Uh. So she signed with almost killing students by doing that, but mm. but they can't do any defensive magic. Oh, look at this group of traitors! No. The Melf. Oh, oh, they got no. Joe. Proof of what I've been telling you right from the beginning, Queens. He clearly says Dumbledore's army. Oh, oh look at that! I instructed Harry to form this organization, and I and I alone. I'm responsible for its activity. You will escort Dumbledore to Azkaban. Sedition. Look at her big smile yeah. for this. God, I hate her face. face. You seem to be laboring under the delusion that I'm going to come quiet. Oh, boy. Oh, there oh you go. boy. I have no intention of going to Azkaban. Oh, ah, here, here it goes. goes. Take him. Get him. Wait, take it. Oh. That's oh, finally the I dream of Jeannie. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought maybe when he said he had no intention of going quietly, it was going to be a little bit, yeah, a little bit more over the top, but that was pretty cool. <laughs> but you can't deny Dumbledore's got style. <laughs> <laughs> oh, head of Hogwarts, School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Oh, they're doing the thing that uh, Harry had to do with us. Uh, Scars their hands. The whole class? Oh my god, the whole class. Mm -hmm. Everyone that they found in there. Yep. Robbie, that is not polite. Could do something. <laughs> Put me down. And she tells you what to do. She means business. Ron is like, oh, oh now he future. feels, now he feels bad. Way to go, Weasley, you dick. It's company he'll be needing when I'm gone. You will look after him, won't you? I'm the only family he's got. Every memory he has access to is a weapon he can use against you. You won't last two seconds if he invades your mind. You're just like your father. Lazy. Whoa. Whoa. Don't say a word against my father. Weak. I'm not weak. Then prove it. Right, Control your emotion. Trying to motivate him. Discipline your mind. We've been at it for hours. If I could just rest. The Dark Lord isn't resting, but life isn't fair. Your blessed father knew that. In fact, he's frequently sought to. My father was a great Whoa. man. Your father was a swine. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, Potato. Oh, it's a young Snape. Snape he's got yeah. toilet on, paper on his foot. Snape. Billy Is that Harry's Mooney? dad? No, that's his dad. He's bullying Snape. Well, he said, come on, Mooney with him, is what I was saying. Yeah, well, Mooney's said. behind him. Yeah. yeah. Wow, what a bum. So Potter's dad went to school with him and yep. bullied him. Oh, no. Fearless oh, that's heavy. Wow. Get Drop a comment. How many more times in the next few movies is stuff like this going to happen? And then we're going to look back on the previous movies and it explains it later on. That explains so much about why Snape has always been this way towards yeah. Potter. Yep. Wow. Makes perfect But sense. even in the previous movies, he's doing the right thing to help him still. Yep. He's still doing the right thing to help him because he knows a, he's a kid and that's just what, a different way of doing yeah. it. Ah, wow. That's deep. Is this, the, right, is this the Weasleys that just so somebody went to uh, yeah. somebody went to the fireworks shop outside? I think, so. I think the Weasleys are gonna create a diversion or something. Oh, there they are, and they're on the brooms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this! <laughs> Can I get that firework this yeah. year? That's amazing. Oh! Yeah! Finally! Okay, why is Harry all of a sudden? Oh no, he's sweating him. Prophecy. 
Oh, it's the same thing that happened with Weasley's dad. He knows yeah. something's happening to Sirius Black right now. Yep. Sirius. Harry, are you sure? I saw it. Have you brought the Veritas serum? I'm afraid you've used up all my stores interrogating students. The last of it on Miss Chen. I, oh, oh she used go. a potion. Oh, now yeah. I feel like a dick. Apologies, Miss Chang. He's got Padfoot. He's got Padfoot at the place where it's hidden. No, I do. Oh, he does. He just he doesn't does. want to tell her. Yeah. He knows Harry's doing the right thing here, and he's being brave, and he doesn't want to tell her. Yep. The Cruciatus curse ought to loosen your tongue. That's illegal. Whoa, oh, that's whoa, the same whoa. One that was Sirius was getting. Oh, oh, she's even going. Yeah. Dumbledore's secret weapon. Oh, she's making oh. stuff up, isn't Wait, she? Wait, up with it on the fly. He's in there. Oh. oh. Where is this weapon? Well, maybe it's better that he's off the rope, that he can surprise him. You were trying to trick me. You have no business here, Centaur. This is a ministry matter. <laughs> Creatures of near human intelligence. <laughs> In the wow. Oh, she's not going to be easy to take down. Oh, oh no, they're shooting groppy. Oh, oh, he's scared. Tell them I mean no harm. I'm sorry, Professor. You mean no harm? What'd you I just not do? Tell lies. Oh! 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 Clap back, Potter! Oh, what? Nice. Oh, poor grub. How are we getting to London? Yeah, I've got you into enough trouble as it is. Maybe you don't have to do this all by yourself, mate. Oh, hardcore Fast and Furious vibes. <laughs> yes. So how are we going to get home? So how are we going uh, to London? London. Oh, they got these guys. Oh, nice. oh. Hey, they're beautiful, majestic creatures. Uh -huh. No, wait, no, wait. Okay, I gotta see what the other ones. Yeah, what about like Ron and. Yeah, they're fine. They just can't, they can't see, see them, yeah. but they're riding on them. All right, whatever. Okay, here's the door. He yeah, saw. He's been seeing this all movie. God, I wish I saw these in the theaters. <laughs> <laughs> he should be here. Harry. Uh-oh. He sees What's something. Name on it? Looks like the crystal ball they had in class. The one with the power to vanquish the Dark Lord approaches. <gasps> what? And the Dark Lord shall mark him as his equal, but he shall have power the Dark Lord. Oh. So Voldemort thinks Harry's his equal, but Harry's got more power than he knows. Who's, Whoa, who's who is this? this? Okay, this Where's movie serious? just got way dark. Man, you should learn to tell the difference. Malfoy. No. Malfoy. So the Dark Lord wanted you to see. Did set him up. Now hand uh, him the box. Hermione was you right. You went into us, I'll break it. <laughs> he knows how to play. Oh, tricks are strange. How's mom and dad? Better now they're about to be avenged. <laughs> I know he's an actor, but I hate that guy. I know he's so good at like, I know it. he's just, you know he's just used his face. I was unable to kill you when you were just an infant. Don't you want to know the secret of your scar? I can show you everything. I've waited 14 years. I guess I can wait a little longer. Now, do the part! Yeah, nice. Oh, they had a plan. Oh, oh, she hit him with the big one. Boom. Oh, she hit him with that reducto, and now the whole thing's coming down. Whoa. They're out. They're out. They're out. They're out. Watch okay, that they all step. got out. Oh, he still has it. Got out with it. Can you tell what they're saying? There aren't any voices, Harry. I hear them too. Harry, it's just an empty archway. Be on your toes. Be ready for it. Get behind me! Oh, these guys swooped right in. Oh, they all came back. I'll make this simple. 
you, Potter. Give me the prophecy now, or watch your friends die. Man, he just watched oh. Cedric. Trust me. Uh, Get away from my concern. Oh, oh, yes! 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 Oh, boy, serious. Now we're going to see some powers. Oh! oh broke. Does that just mean his prophecy is yet to be untold? That could be. Oh! oh we got the, whole order. the whole order's coming back. There she is. What an entrance. Done beautifully. Now let me take it from here. There you go. Got a boy, oh, Harry. Some, 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 some wizard shit going down. <laughs> this Neville is by isn't far the most intense that we've had so 100%. far. 100%. Oh, no. What? Did we just lose Sirius? Is that what I'm seeing? Go! Oh, oh, he hit the oh. big one on her. Do it. So weak. Oh, what? Oh. It was foolish of you to come here tonight, Tom. The orders are on their way. By which time I shall be gone. <laughs> Fighting it, he's yeah. fighting it. It isn't how you are like, it's how you are not. <laughs> Seeing his friends has got to put him over the edge, that's got to pull him out of it. Oh, this is heavy. You're the weak one, and you'll never know love or friendship, and I feel sorry for you. I beat him. What is happening? And you will lose everything. Oh, imagine that. Who is that guy there, Mr. Fudge? Yeah. He's back. Oh, oh, oh do, you, do you, think you think so? Oh, my God. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, <laughs> oh they found her? Oh, I, I didn't think they would let her go. No. He who must not be named returns. So a little bit of Hogwarts headmaster. 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 Oh, that's how worked up I am. I can't even talk. <laughs> it's my fault. No, the fault is mine. By distancing myself from you, I have done all year. You'd be less tempted. Oh. Therefore, you might be more protected. Neither one can live or the other one survives. One of us is going to have to kill the other. And yet, why didn't you tell me? I didn't want to cause you any more pain. Oh, look at all the portraits are back. Yeah. But even though we've got a fight ahead of us, we've got one thing that Voldemort doesn't have. Something worth fighting for. That's very true. Yeah, it you is. You know, if you're trying to defend something and somebody's trying to take it... Oh, oh boy, I was getting off, getting out too. Like, uh, nobody's doing anything to him with <laughs> oh, what his dad boy. is doing? That's true. Yeah, his dad, they had a multiple witnesses that his dad was clearly involved. Yeah. Yeah. Perhaps we'll tie that up in the next one. All wow. right. That, Look at that. Yeah. I got to uh, I got to steal <laughs> a phrase the Oak often used. Wow. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. This was next level, as the Oak would say. This, guys, to me, this is the movie that just kicked everything into high gear. I mean, we are playing for some serious stakes here now. And, it, like, we're all in it now. And the story's been incredible. It's, um, I know we talked about it earlier in the first two movies about them kind of being kids' movies, but we're full blown young adult, if not adult, yeah. movie. Uh, 
man, our crew is just out there. They're hanging together. I love it. Everybody's working together. We're all on the same page. The, the lessons in there were great. I thought the effects at the end with the wizard battle were, that was awesome. That was some of the most awesome stuff I've seen. That was great. And to finally have Dumbledore give his reaction of why he did what he did at the end, because we've been questioning him now for like three movies yeah. of why he's staying out of it. So you can probably tell by the excitement in my voice. I'm really, <laughs> I'm really into these now. But guys, I'm, I'm fully hooked, and I can't wait to read the comments you guys are gonna have. And man, there's only, only a couple more left to go. I'm kind of sad. We have three. Yeah. So, so oh, uh, answer rating. Gosh. This has to be a, like a, I'm going to say a 4.85 out of five answers oh. only because I know there, there's got to be room to grow. So I got to leave some room for the next ones because this one is by far my favorite so far. And uh, it's not even close, really. The only one that would give it a run for its money is the one that had vengeance in it over there. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. In honor of the late Cedric. Um, I Obviously, I absolutely loved it as well. I can't echo it enough. I mean, man, thinking we waited so long to watch these and then even Oak said it in the theater would be just amazing. But then, but we have the luxury of, you know, for you guys that each week we get to watch one of these. And it's just been amazing watching the growth of the characters, watching the growth of Harry, how he's been going. But it's like, it's just hilarious to me how uh, the, in the fourth one, she's like, no, nothing's going to happen. It's like, oh, you know, I'm batting three for three so far. You know, or four for four in these uh, school years with having to deal with something happening. So yeah. I'm pretty sure uh, my nose is telling me something's, something's happening here. Happen. But uh, absolutely just like the lessons that Ed has been learned in here and how they work together. I was the epic training montage, uh, the huge <laughs> fight at the end. I mean, everybody I loves have a it. More hated villain. Oh my God! Throughout the whole oh, thing, God, she I hate her. Was enjoying every minute of torturing those kids. Oh, and, and, and and when she said it's no surprise, her she's like, you know, I rather hate children. Like, no, really? Yeah. Hmm. We did not know that. Um, I. I'm going to have to say 475 because yeah. I'm hoping that it can still keep getting higher and higher. But I loved it. I love the growth of everybody and just the maturing of everyone. And I can't I can't wait for six, seven and eight. Yet, yep. So. <sighs> wow. This was an absolutely phenomenal movie. Um, <clears throat> you know, I, I knew going into the series that it gets darker as you go along. That's, you know, the one thing that you guys have heard me say consistently throughout these reviews is that I know it gets darker. Um, the substance of the movie just really went next level um, here in, I'm just, you know, I, I know it's, they all have their own titles, but part five, yeah. um, if, if we can call it that. Um, part one and two, fun movies. And I know I said so many times they're kids' movies, and now, of course, after you get this far in, you realize they're not really kids' movies. They're the start of this story. That's, this is the, be it's not a kids' movie, it's the beginning of this coming of age story. And I liked Prisoner of Azkaban. I thought that was kind of, I think that kind of took things to um, a different level. Um, I probably didn't like Goblet of Fire as much as I liked Prisoner of Azkaban. So I wasn't sure, like, you know, it was like, meh, and then up, and then, meh. And so I wasn't really sure coming into this movie what to expect. We had so many comments on, on YouTube about, like, oh, they get better, they get better, they get better. But it's also a lot of people who are Harry Potter, like, fans, like, through and through fans saying it gets better. So not that I don't trust, the, uh, you know, our fans on, on YouTube and, and Patreon. I hate seeing fans. It's like, just, I'm, buddies, pals, yeah, boys, okay. my girls, you know. Um, <clears throat> I could not have anticipated how much better, and it's not to say the last two. I mean, I was pretty pretty straightforward about the first two. I'm like, these are good movies, good lessons for kids, and like, hey, see, Harry, Harry does the right thing. Yeah. Do what Harry does. <laughs> but these were just like, wow, you know, lessons about if, if leadership isn't there, somebody has to step up and take the role. And I mean, there's there's just so many things throughout this movie that parallel things that we see in everyday life and people looking around and there's a lack of leadership. But even though Harry did step up and take leadership, of course, there's still that, 
he doubted himself at times. He said like, you know, oh, I got lucky, you know, and it's like, no, you're, you're talented. And, you know, you're there because, you know, you work hard and you're, and you're brave and you trust in yourself. They threw some really good twists in with, um, you know, with his, his love interest, kind of like had that first kiss, which is yeah. probably like one of the, <laughs> I don't know that I've ever been excited about a, a movie kiss <laughs> as I was for Harry Potter, but then, you know, and then I thought it was like the whole spy movie thing where she was a plant, but she ends up falling in love and then like oh, it comes out. But yeah, then it came out that, you know, it wasn't really her fault. And it was, you know, and it's it's weird because the, the directors, and I think they very much know this, and I shouldn't say directors, I should say J.K. Rowling, the writer of the book. They take you on this emotional up and down where you get like this idea in your head and then you find out the truth and you almost feel bad um, that you made the wrong assumptions yeah. about people. So you're watching, it's like you're watching this story develop, right? And you're like, oh, that person made that mistake. But as you're following the story, you have your own preconceived notions that you learn were wrong. So it's this like incredible dynamic that you're watching. It's God, it's, it. You're watching people grow and you're watching people learn and you're watching people realize some of the mistakes that they made. But as you're watching the movie, you're experiencing the exact same things. And I know I'm just watching a movie, but you can't walk away from the movie without like taking that like into your like uh, your, your everyday life. Taking that with you. Right? Like, oh, I was watching this movie and I was judging the shit out of somebody and they turned out to not whatever. So, wow, maybe tomorrow when I'm going through whatever, and I deal with a certain situation, I shouldn't jump to conclusions and I shouldn't assume the worst of somebody until I know the whole story. And it's so like, it, this, this whole series, like I said, I really, um, and we, we try to keep our intros a little bit tighter, like, hey, we're starting this movie. And, you know, we love talking a little bit more at the end. If you've made it, you know, all the way yeah. to the end, make it a little bit more. But it was really in our wrap up in the last, I, I swear to God, I was like in the middle of my wrap up talking. I'm like, wait a minute. And it started hitting me camera stopped rolling the three of us and I, I swear to god the three of us sat here after goblet of fire and the, us <laughs> three like grown men hour. us three grown men <laughs> talked about harry potter for an hour after the camera stopped rolling just about wow like this is turning into a great story um and so i i can't really review this movie without sharing this stuff because i feel like i don't know I just feel like the expectations of what I thought this whole thing was going to be and just watching eight. I, I got to be honest. I thought I was going to be watching eight kids movies. That's what I thought. And when people said, oh, they get darker. I thought I was going to be watching eight kids movies and a handful of them were kind of inappropriate for kids, but still meant for kids. And these, I don't I just, and I'm a, I'm a wordsy person. I don't, I, you know, everybody doesn't know what I do for a living, but I, I talk a lot writing and communications and marketing and stuff like that. So words are my thing and I'm having a hard time just articulating how incredible I think this has turned. And it's like, I, I kind of want to go back now and rewatch the first four, not just to catch stuff, but the appreciation I have for the series now, I feel like I would enjoy the first four more. And how I also, I, God, I really feel like the people who read the books before they got saw the movies got a lot more out of the movies than people who just come in like like us and just watch the movies because we don't know what's going to happen, yeah. right? Like well, you know, like mind, yeah. yeah. I mean, I feel like if you read the books and you know you went to the movie and it was nice because you got to see how they adapted it to the screen and you got to see it played out but it was a story you're already familiar with where with us i'm just going off these movies and like, eh, the first two are right you know <laughs> yeah. um but yeah as, as far as the rating scale i'm going real real high on this now i, I did give some of the lord of the rings movies fives um uh, we haven't reviewed Shawshank Redemption, but if I, and I keep going back to Shawshank, but I do so because I think it's like the greatest movie ever. Um, I know answer. You said you're going to rate it because you still want to see what's next. Yeah. I'm going to come a little bit different because I don't know what's next. And then the other movies, because look, the, one of the gr interesting things in the comments is people saying, well, Prisoner of Azkaban was my favorite or the Phoenix was yeah. a favorite, you know, definitely or the, you know, there's part seven and eight. Well, part seven was my favorite, but not part eight. And so there's so many people. So I'm going to try not to score this one based off the previous ones. That's fair. Um, but as a standalone, 
And I think I did like 375s on the first few or something like that. I think I might have bumped it up to a 385. Um, I'm going to go a 475 on this. Um, for me, the the grand scale of a, of a battle scene in like um, Lord of the Rings, like the Two Towers or like Return of the King, that grand scale visually for me, or like the, the, the intro scene for Gladiator, that for me is, is part of a movie that I, I would rank it up. The wizard scene was cool. It's a little bit, it's not as- It's a little tight. Compact. It's tight. You have a handful. I think we had, you know, Harry and, and a handful of his friends. And of course, Sirius Black, and Dumbledore came in later and a handful of the, um, you know, like Voldemort's team. But it's not like this massive scale battle where you're just like, oh my God, look how big this is. So I'm not gonna go like, 4.95 or 5 but for me to go like 4.75 um after you know what i saw for the first few movies um i think is a pretty significant jump for me and i think i i just can't i cannot say enough about how phenomenal this movie was the lessons that it teaches for kids teenagers adults and i'm just gonna say it again this weird like you're watching people make these decisions but all this at the same time you have to be cognizant of you're just doing the same thing while you're watching the movie so maybe when you walk out of the theater or walk out of you know your studio where you're shooting this stuff um be a little bit more mindful of of how you treat other people and you know how you how you treat yourself you know mm -hmm. harry was doubting himself all the time and uh, a lot of people out there that are just super talented people that doubt themselves and you know harry's very lucky in these movies to have people around him that believe in him and even then it's sometimes it's hard for him so imagine like if harry didn't have the people around him yeah. so like I, an uncle, you know? I think yeah and i think that's one other one other thing maybe you have people out there who had problems believing in themselves and they watch these movies and were like you know and i know maybe this is a stretch for some people who are just like watching this casually but yeah. You know, uh, shit, maybe you had something going on in your life and you were like, eh, I don't know. And you're like, it's hard to watch these movies and not be like motivated as oh, shit, sure. you know? Yeah. And this is coming like, <clears throat> I'll, I'll be, I'll just get real honest with you guys. Um, because I feel like we're at that level, especially for the Patreon people. Like it's weird, like as a, as like a bodybuilder that like people think like we look at like our motivation comes from bodybuilders, right? Like my motivation to be my best comes from other people who have done what I'm aiming to do. And that's not the that's not the case so often. You just look for like motivation. Like if somebody else is out there trying to be a better version of themselves, then I can take that and apply that to what I'm doing. So it doesn't matter if my goal was to be Mr. Olympia. If I see somebody who's just worked day in and day out to be the best, guitar player in the world or to be the best artist in the world that's motivating as shit and and so me watching these movies and i think anybody watching these movies whatever your goals are in life or whatever you're doing i think you can watch these movies and just be fired up in general and i know this is look i know this is really heavy for a movie review but i i, I think it's that good and like i almost got like almost got a little emotional at the end and i, I don't know if you can hear my voice when um and the girl kind of was saying, you know, people take her stuff because it's the, f you know, we've seen bullying before in this, in these movies, but it was a little, it was different at that last one, right? It was weird with her. It was weird. The way she was. The where she was. Like all the bullying that we've seen so far in these movies is your very traditional, like teasing, ha ha, we're going to do this, you know, we're going to blah, blah, blah. And that was like, and people are taking my stuff and hiding it. And Harry was like, well, do you want help? Do you want help? And she was like, no, you know, things work out the way they work yeah. out so that was and they, and they ended with that so i don't i don't want it to get lost on people that i think they ended with that very purposely absolutely. you know because it was, a, it was a cool moment but i'm absolutely blown away um i know so many people were like oh you're gonna get into this i'm like i'm sure i, I trust you guys right <laughs> yeah. like i trust you that i'll enjoy them more i just didn't know that these movies would go to this kind of level so uh needless to say i'm excited for the next three i'm a little bit like almost i'm almost like with some people saying like they had their favorites in the middle and the other ones weren't their favorites i'm a, like i'm excited to watch the other ones but i'm not gonna because of what we learned i'm not gonna be like the next one's gonna be better and better and better i'm just gonna enjoy this one for what it was yeah. it's just an enjoying of the story yeah 
more and more. It's whole yeah, now we're gonna, you know we're gonna come back and you know another week or so and yeah. watch another one, and it's gonna be yeah. it's gonna be hard. I, I was I was almost um, I was so tempted to start watching like fan theories on Harry Potter, oh, right? Like great. top twenty fan theories because oh, I thought on. maybe I could get him on. No, 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 I'm not going. Trust me, I'm not going to. <laughs> but I thought like I could get him on like the first one, like oh, okay. top ten first fan theories yeah. about. Um, you know, Sorcerer's Stone, yeah. top 10 fan seekers, you know, yeah. and uh, all of them that I found on YouTube were like through the whole series. Yeah. So I'm like, ah, I'm gonna stay yeah. Yeah. As, as far as the, the remainder of these, these films, I, c I could not be more excited. Um, again, I know that each movie is its own individual movie and that we you may not enjoy one as much as the next. Um, but as far as so far in the series, um, number five, uh, Order of the Phoenix was hands down, far and away, my favorite. So I, I can't not be excited for the upcoming movies. Um, so to to everybody out there um, that uh, that's been dropping comments, you know, telling us to keep going, telling yeah. us to oh, go into it with an open mind, no. <laughs> and to all the people who told me like, hey man, like, and I, and I, some of them I was like. You guys are a little brazen, you know, but I'm gl I'm glad you guys came at me because some are like, hey, dude, these aren't we're telling you these aren't kids movies. They're not kids movies, yeah. you know. Like it's and, and and again, I'm I'm so glad. Like look, we were gonna stick with them, you know, for the channel, yeah. right? But um, I'm so, I'm so glad I'm watching them, and I'm I'm very excited for the the remainder. Um, almost a little nervous. Like, can any of the other ones be as good as this one? But uh, we'll find out next uh, next few weeks. We're gonna we got a lot more to go on yeah, our Harry yeah. Potter journey. Yep. Thankfully, so. yeah. And I just wanted to wrap up real quick with you know a lot of people can say maybe it's a little cheesy to find inspiration or motivation from a movie, but you know I look at it as you know everybody finds it in their own way. And you kind of talked about that a little bit. And uh, you know whether it's a movie or some music or a book you might have read, like hey if if that inspires you to go out and be your best, I mean go for it. Don't ever feel like you would have to apologize or like you know feel bad that you're getting your motivation from a movie or whatever because that's the great thing that i was thinking about today when i was at work i was like you know i'm genuinely excited that i get to watch harry potter tonight and the cool thing about it is once you kind of like get out of your your middle school and high school type stuff i know it's hard for a lot of people out there but if you guys can get through that once you get to be a little bit older you can do whatever the hell you want and it doesn't matter man you can be a Harry Potter fan, you can love playing some classic Nintendo. I talk on the channel all the time about playing Dungeons and Dragons as a kid. I mean, you get picked on all the time for that when I was younger. Now, I don't even care because I do what I want and you're out there living your own life and having your own fun. And that I, I, I've kind of found that message in these movies a little bit because you always see the people dressing up and the, their favorite characters and everything. And it's like, you know what, that's, that's really awesome and it's really kind of turned my view on, on how I see some of that stuff as well. So a little bit of learning for me. Yeah, I mean, you can you can do whatever hell you want. You know, you can go to a movie, eating ice cream, kicking your feet like a little 10 year old, or you can be playing Metroid on your, right. on your living room floor with yeah. your feet up like a teenage girl on the phone. You know, getting how hard everything. that game is to beat. And then there's me. So for the Appleton Oak and Mason Quinn, I'm of course the answer. Good night, pals. <laughs>